everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the Apple iPad. Now if you haven't seen my earlier videos, please do check out the main Geekanoids channel page where you'll find plenty of tech related videos, including a lot of coverage on the new iPad. Now this is one of my app reviews and in this video I'm going to be showing you Evernote. Now Evernote is a free application in the iTunes App Store. What it basically allows you to do is install Evernote on perhaps a Mac or a PC and also on an iPod Touch and now their iPad version and you can make notes and web clippings, uh, image clippings etc and they synchronize between the different devices. Now it is a free application uh, and the service is free but once you become a power user and you want to use more of their services then you can subscribe to a paid for service. So this is the main home screen on the iPad and here you can see all of my notes represented by uh, icons. I can tap on notebooks and this shows you the two notebooks that I've set up. I've set up one for my iMac and one for my iPad and these are notes that are just specific to those devices. Then you've got tags. Now I've got tags here for Apple, iPad, Geekanoids and a couple of empty ones and this organizes things with the keywords that I've tagged them with places I haven't used and then searches I can search within my notes. So let's go back to all notes and I'm going to um, select this one here for example. This was some typing that I just actually did on the iPad itself and it was just some notes I was making while I was looking at the Evernote application and then the next time I logged in on my iMac this note was synchronized over um, an accessible and editable on the iMac as well. Here I've got a little uh, picture clipping and this is just a, a sort of an image that I captured on my iMac, a screenshot and then that's synchronized over to this device too. And then just down here I've got two different ones to show you. This is a, again a picture clipping of the Apple start page and you can capture in two different forms because this next one is actually a URL capture so I actually captured the website address for the Apple Start page and this keeps all of the links in place so I can actually click on them and find what I was actually looking at at the time of making this note. Now if I go back to my home page I'm going to go to my notebooks and into my iPad one and then that just shows me just my iPad one. I've got different options on the screen as you can see I can actually refresh which will give me a more up-to-date version of this if I've made changes. I can actually put it in the trash can to delete it. I can email this note to somebody or I can in fact edit it. And if I tap in the body of the text, I can make some more notes. So this is more notes as I am doing the video. And then I save that and that will, next time I go onto my iMac, it will synchronize this update to it. In the same way I can create a new note and I can give it a title up here. If it will go in there, there we go. Uh, new test note. I can tell it which notebook I want it to go into. So I want it to go into iMac or iPad. I want it to go onto the iPad one. The tags, iPad. And then the actual body of the note here, testing the on screen keyboard there we go just a simple little note just for this test and then I can actually attach an audio uh, narration to it as well and I can also attach a picture to it if I so wish and then tap on save and I've got a separate note here and again this synchronizes to my account and the next time I log in on one of the other devices I can gain access to this test note. I wanted to quickly show you what you get in the free service and if you think it's worth paying for the premium service. Now with my free service I get access to all versions of Evernote, Mac, PC, uh, iPod, uh, uh, iPad and the iPhone for example. I get synchronization across platforms, text recognition inside images, 40 megabytes of monthly upload allowance, file synchronization is limited to images, audio ink and PDFs. I can't search within PDFs, I get offline notebooks, standard support and security features, and I do get adverts, but that's free. Now if I pay 
five dollars or a month or forty five dollars a year I can get a premium support SSL encryption I also get no adverts I get priority image recognition I can also do offline notebooks and search within PDF synchronization is any file type and also that 40 megabyte monthly allowance is upgraded to 500 megabytes so for five dollars a month or 45 dollars a year if you use Evernote a lot you're getting a lot of extra features and that 500 megabyte is a very worthwhile upgrade so Evernote a great way of creating notes and clippings and then having them accessible wherever you are really uh, sharing them across different platforms and also if you think about it if I'm making notes and then somebody else logs into my Evernote account and adds a note to to that particular thing we're working on it's a great way of working on things together so this was my review of Evernote it's a free application in the iTunes App Store thanks very much for watching please do come back and check out more video reviews on the Geek Noise channel this video review is sponsored by EasyDraw making drawing fun on Mac OS X